path to carbon neutrality goes through innovation in our processes, business methods and products. In line with the goals set out in SEM Bureau Carbon Neutrality Roadmap, our industry is developing low carbon technologies ranging from carbon capture, utilization and storage, circular use of waste, 3D printing, to recarbonation and many more. These technologies help us reduce CO2 emissions at every stage of the cement and concrete value chain. Our pathway to carbon neutrality starts by changing the fuels we use in cement production. Pet coke, coal and other fossil fuels were traditionally used to heat cement kilns at temperatures above 1400 degrees. But this is changing. Already today, more than 50% of the sector's thermal energy consumption comes from the use of non-recyclable waste and biomass waste thanks to co-processing. Every day, millions of tonnes of waste that would otherwise be landfilled or incinerated are used as alternative fuels in cement kilns. These include various types of waste, like blades of wind farms or day-to-day -day waste produced by society. Not only does co-processing lead to significant CO2 emissions avoidance from cement, but it also allows for a truly circular economy, where waste is recycled to reduce our dependence on imported energy. In some European countries, it has allowed cement plants to phase out fossil fuels almost entirely. Moreover, the sector is looking at the potential of other technologies to further clean its energy supplies, such as hydrogen or plasma. The circular approach is also present further down the value chain when cement is elaborated. Clinker is the most CO2-intensive material in cement production. That's why the industry looks at reducing the amount of clinker by using substitutes. These substitutes include fly ash from coal power plants or steel slags from the steel industry residues which would otherwise not be used. The cement industry is also exploring the use of other substitutes, including calcined clay and natural potsilins. Once again, this circular approach allows to reduce CO2 emissions significantly. A key challenge in the journey toward carbon neutrality is the process emissions resulting from the calcination of limestone. This process represents about two-thirds of the sector's CO2 emissions. As these emissions are unavoidable, the European cement companies are deploying a breakthrough set of technologies called CCUS, standing for Carbon Capture, Utilisation and Storage. With CCUS, the CO2 emitted in cement production is directly captured out of the cement kiln and permanently stored or put to further use, potentially reducing emissions to zero. A large number of CCUS projects have been launched across Europe, and many of these will start operation in the coming years. For instance, in Norway, a cement plant will capture CO2 emissions, which will be transferred to a CO2 storage site as of 2024. The CO2 infrastructure will be shared with other energy-intensive sectors. Yet not all of the 200 cement plants in Europe will have access to CO2 storage sites. For this reason, the European cement industry is also looking at other innovative ways of reusing the CO2 that would be captured from cement plants, such as producing synthetic fuels for aviation to decarbonize air transport, turning CO2 and waste heat into algae, reusing the CO2 to produce aggregates from construction and looking at how concrete itself could be used as CO2 storage material. The race towards carbon neutrality expands well beyond cement production itself. The European cement industry explores a variety of technologies to see how concrete, the end product of cement, can be better used to reduce CO2 emissions. These technologies include 3D printing to produce extremely complex shapes that are not possible with traditional techniques, optimizing the concrete usage and increasing quality. 
looking at the thermal mass potential of concrete to reduce energy use in buildings and better integrate renewable energy. Studying how the design of buildings could change to use less concrete whilst providing the same comfort to inhabitants and making use of concrete's durability to offer a second life to old buildings and renovate European cities. And even beyond concrete, our industry explores how the end of life of European buildings can deliver further CO2 savings, including recovering construction waste and recycling it in cement and concrete production, looking at how concrete can absorb CO2 through recarbonation throughout its lifetime, and effectively turning European cities into a carbon sink. Green future lies in innovation, and we are part of it. Visit our website to discover our industry's innovative projects across Europe.